Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Powerhouse here with another one of my Let's Play. And this one's gonna be Let's Play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield. Now, I played this game before in the past a whole bunch of times. I think it was actually pretty good. And I want to beat it one more time, so here we go. Oh, and um, if anyone has any questions about my Let's Play LEGO Racers 2, I'm done with that one. However, I'm still going to be working on my Let's Play Spore. I'm just going to do both of these at the same time. Operation and yeah, the loading screen are kind of long. Terrible. And um, I'm not going to stay here on the briefing for so long. But the mission is basically to eliminate all terrorists. And this is what I do for the loadout. Because <clears throat> I don't really like to assign each guy the same gun over and over again. And I'm going to have a different gun. I'm gonna use the 20. I usually use the 21E, the light machine gun, because it's pretty. It's very accurate. It's very. It's pretty far range. I don't like submachine guns in this game. They have bare, barely any range, barely any damage. The actually is usually kind of bad. It it just has high uh, recovery and stability. So I usually like to give um, rifles to my characters. And then the primary, the leader, always gets a 21E. So here is my goal. What I'm trying to do is try to get perfect on the first level. And what I mean is I don't want anyone to die. Anyone? Well, actually, someone could get in incapacitated, but I don't want anyone to die. Someone could get wounded, but I just, I'm basically just looking for no deaths this place in this is one. Definitely a no smoking zone. So here I am, leader of the red, red uh, group, Chavez Ding. Trying to kill that guy right there, and sometimes I do do that a lot. Like I'll just, I'll just start with the wildfire, but please ignore that. The reason why I do the wildfire sometimes is because I want to make sure that the guy I'm killing is dead. Green, waiting for Alpha. And this is probably the, the one of the only missions that I'm actually going to use the plans to help me out. Usually, I'll just make my own plans, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna show that in the in the videos because it takes kind of long to make your own plans, where you have to get the go codes, go code here, go code there. You know, it ta it takes a long time. So yeah, I'm following my waypoints. I'm moving along, and. I'm also looking at the green team at the same time, make sure that none of them die. Because if someone dies, I'm going to restart it. And yeah, I'm giving the go code alpha. And uh, my guy, my guys are on the other side. Go, go, go! Open and clear. Usually I don't tell my guys to open and clear, usually I'll do it myself, like I'll just open the door and then clear it out. But the reason why is because you never know and I really don't want to die or get anyone killed. Clear. Yep, all team, move out. We'll get there. I also equipped the heartbeat sensor. Reason why is because you never know what to expect in this game. Like sometimes you'll just walk around, and then you'll see no one, and you'll die. And here's where I, what I don't like about the heartbeat sensor: the range is very short. Watch, I'm walking here. I think no one's here, and all of a sudden I see these guys. I shoot the barrel so I can try to get the guy to the left, but I think I think one of my guys told him that he was dead. And yeah, he was. And here's sometimes I don't like too is like when you miss a waypoint or do something like that. Like you're just walking along, all of a sudden you have to turn. You have to turn all the way around, just go back to that one waypoint. It gets annoying sometimes, but 
I really I like the um, tactical system in this game. And also in this this game is also noted for campers. When you play this game over and over again, you'll see a lot of campers. Like you'll just walk and all of a sudden you'll just see like a dude crouching right there. And I already knew that know that guy's expecting me. I'm gonna see I'm gonna use a breaching charge on this. Before I thought like you could actually command oh just um detonate the charge but you can't tell him to do that so I'm gonna just well first I gotta find the guy then I'm gonna have to just blow it up myself. Tanko down. And I like these um, Tom Clancy's reason why is because it's very tactical gameplay. And instead of just controlling one character, you actually control everyone from your team, which is pretty good. And yeah, sometimes I do that too. I know that's a glitch, but yeah. If if one of my soldiers is in the way, I'm not gonna move around it just so it can look realistic. I'm just gonna push him out the way. And I, even though <clears throat> when you select your character and they all have different face uh, character models in the game, they all look the same. And there's two guys right there, so I know what to expect. And again, this green team moves pretty fast. I'm still not even at the Bravo right now. They're already chilling there. Open frag and clear. I'm on it. The way he threw it was very fake. And he still left. And I killed one of my guys. Down. And I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to restart this. Another mission is if I have guys who die, One bullet in the I'm probably not going to restart the mission, but could go. If, it's like, if it becomes like a big number, then probably. And yes, I don't want to get any comments saying that I have auto aim. I know I have auto aim on. I haven't played this game in like a few years. Besides, auto aim only really works if your guy is set. Like, if your guy's um, crosshair is actually towards the middle. But there, you're gonna see. I'm gonna use a lot of. I'm gonna use a lot of. Um, a lot. Some most of my kills are. Um, um, some of my kills are gonna be basically just freehand. Like I'm not gonna use. Like if the uh, auto aim is not gonna work when I kill some of these guys. And I don't know why the green team has to move so fast first. I gotta at least know that's clear. And since this is a terrorist hunt too, I gotta make sure every single person that I go, that I walk. Um, and yeah, they got there. I just saw that. But I died because of a grenade, so we gotta restart it once again. Remember, this place is definitely the no difficulty of this game. It is not too easy. It is not too hard. As long as you're like a tactical shooter type of person and you're used to the Tom Clancy games, like I am, you're gonna be pretty much in good hands. But if you've never played a type of, if you never played a tactical shooter game before, then this is gonna be new to you. And I keep going down those stairs because I want to make sure that the person there is dead. So like I said before, if someone gets wounded, then they just get wounded. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna restart the mission. Well, if someone dies, then I'm 
we're starting. Some of the things that I can't stand about this game is, well, actually not can't stand, but like, it like, I don't know what to do in these situations. Like, all you hear is just gunshots, and you have, and you're just looking around, and you have no idea where the person is. You're still looking around. It, it's just, it becomes retarded. Like, you just hear gunshots out of nowhere. You're looking around, looking around, you can't find the person all of a sudden. The dude was like above you, or he was like a mile away from you, and he still got you. And yeah, I should have used my um, heartbeat sensor on this one because it saves time from me just keep uh, peeking out from the corners. See, don't, the only reason why I don't want anyone to die in this one is because if they die, I can't use them for the rest of the game. If they get imp incapacitated, I can't use them for a while. And then if they're wounded, I could still use them the next mission. And yeah, there was a guy up there. I could still use them for the next mission, but they're going to start off wounded. So then, basically I can't, I'm not going to use them for a while. Yeah, so there's two guys up there waiting for me. Which that's why I like. I like when the heartbeat sensor actually works. See, like, the gunshots there, I have no idea where they came from. There's a dude right there, so as soon as I open, I'm gonna shoot him. Right down. Shot both of them. This guy right there too. Tango neutralized. Yeah, that means that probably someone's either out on the window or still on the ground somewhere. Okay, one of my guys got wounded right now. But I'm still good. As long as they don't die, I'm not going to restart. So we're all good. And the green team is setting a breach. I don't know why. But. Oh yeah, duh, they're going to breach the room. That means I still got a long, long way to go. Either those are my guys or the guys from Side. And there's usually a guy in the camp. One mission I might actually use a submachine gun. But I don't really like them in this game. In other games I probably will use them more, but probably not in this one. And then I'm going to set the charge again. As I call it a Bravo. Uh, go, go, go. I don't know why I'm like my guys didn't just rush in there. Okay. So there's no more waypoints to go. And there's still one guy out there. Don't know where he is. Maybe he's out here somewhere. And watch this glitch right here, what I'm going to do. These two guys are in my way. They're going to come with me. And 
And um, so that's it. This is Powerhouse signing off.